Let's talk about Bum Bo Hui, its fuzz spicier and frankly more exciting cousin. The rich, savory broth combined with the aromatic chili oil and tender accompaniments make this dish one of the most comforting things you can put in your mouth. <laughs> that sounds so weird. But seriously, the amount of flavorings that go into this dish is absurd. Now this is not a walk in the park. This dish is going to take you all day, but good food typically doesn't come easy. Every good bumbo way starts with a fine selection of animal products. Sorry vegans, I'm using beef bones and bone marrow, pork neck bones, pork hock, and beef banana shank. If you're gonna make bumbo way, you gotta make a lot of it. Get your biggest pot. I know, it's not that big. As with any great stock, we'll need to purify our bones and meat. Top up your bones with cold water and bring it to a boil. This will leach out most of the impurities and leave you with a cleaner tasting and clearer broth. Boil the bones for about 5 minutes, then strain. Use cold water to rinse any gunk that's stuck to the bones and toss them back in the pot with fresh water. Meanwhile, prep the aromatics. Have a large onion and a few shallots. Then take some lemongrass and beat it like your mom beat you when you got a no. B in math. For spices, we'll make a sachet of kaffir lime leaf, star anise, coriander seed, and dried mandarin peel. These will add notes of fruitiness, acid, citrus, and give the broth another level of depth. Add everything to the pot along with a few cubes of rock sugar which contributes to the color and adds a mild sweetness. Also add a heaping tablespoon of shrimp paste at this stage which will take the savoriness of the broth into the stratosphere. Next, we'll prep the aromatic chili oil. Dice some shallots. Don't worry about the consistency of your cuts for this. We'll grate a few cloves of garlic as well. Pro tip, do it over a bench scraper so you can immediately transfer it to the pan. Now in a pan over medium heat, add a quarter cup of neutral oil, I'm using canola. Then go in with a teaspoon of annatto powder for that bright red color, and our shallots and garlic. Add a healthy pinch of chili flakes and chili powder for spice. Let that cook down for a few minutes on low heat then add it to the pot. This oil is the main contributor of spice and gives the broth its distinct orange hue. Add a few pinches of salt and about a quarter cup of fish sauce for some initial seasoning so that the beef shank and pork cock are nicely flavored. We'll adjust again at the end. Bring it to a light simmer and skim off any foam on the surface to ensure the broth remains clear. Two hours later, we'll remove the beef shanks and pork hocks so they don't turn to mush. Let the remaining bones continue to boil for at least another 4 hours and up to 8 hours. During this time, I like to soak my noodles. Bumbo Wei is typically served with these nice, round, rice stick noodles. Despite what the package says, these take up to 20 minutes to cook if you don't soak them beforehand. So an hour or two before you want to eat, soak the noodles in some warm water which will reduce their cooking time to about 5 minutes. After an eternity of waiting patiently while the broth makes your kitchen smell irresistible, fish out the remaining bones and strain that liquid gold. Look at that f color, it's glorious. Now give it one final seasoning. I thought mine just needed a few more glugs of fish sauce. Oh my lord. Now let's get ready to put together a bowl. Bumbo Wei can have a variety of toppings. Of course it'll need our braised beef shank and pork hock, but I'm also serving it with sliced Vietnamese ham and everybody's favorite. Pork blood. Just make sure to boil it to get rid of any impurities. I know it's not for everyone, but I love this stuff, and it's a key component in authentic bumbo way. Now after 8 hours of cooking, we're finally ready to taste the fruits of our labor. Oh, damn good. Pork blood. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back for this. I think it tastes just like the restaurants. Super tender beef shank, pork hock. So gelatinous, I love it. Can't forget about the bone marrow. Heavenly. This is probably the best noodle soup of the series so far. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of ingredients, but it's worth every minute.